Hi, this is DJ Lyrics from DJClasses.com. In this video, I will show you and we'll talk about how to set up crates in Serato DJ. Now, one thing I want to go through is how to organize yourself. As you can see on mine, I immediately have everything subcreated under DJ Lyrics Music. I named it this because it makes it easy for, my, for me to find when I connect my hard drive to maybe a friend's laptop or anybody else. Now, this also works with Serato uh, Scratch Live, which is, you know, if you have both, it opens up the exact same way because of the way they do their crates. Now, if you click the sub crate, you'll see that I have two different folders, my karaoke and bids and videos and my DJ lyrics MP3 jams. Now, if we go through the karaoke and videos, you'll see I have music videos and a karaoke crate. In my karaoke crate, I have karaoke that's MP4 based. And karaoke that's based off of CDGs. Now, what's cool is any uh, Serato DJ 1.9.4 and up, they work perfectly when it comes to CDNG. Now, closing this up, you go through music videos and you can see that I have a select option. I make Soto's videos and everything else. Now, Closing this subcrate and opening up DJ Lyrics MP3 Jams brings you to all my selection as far as everything else that I use. Old School Crates has a subcrate that's also Classic Break Jams and everything else that you see here, as well as Hip Hop Crates. Now, how does all this get organized? Well, if you look into my hard drive, everything's organized as such as well. MP3 music, created, and so forth. So it's basically a, almost an exact mirror of everything. Okay. Now, with that being said, how to set up a crate? Well, what I'm going to go ahead and show you right now is how to set up a simple crate that would eventually get dragged into one of these. Okay. So what we do is we go over to files. Go over to your hard drive, go over to the folder, and in this case, we're just going to use a cumbia one. It just happens to be the one that I left laying around. It only has a few songs. So you don't want to go ahead and start making a crate and dragging stuff in. It's the way that you save the music. And I'm actually going to make another video of how to download from different sites and be able to organize your music properly. But this is just a quick run through of how to be able to just set up a crate with the current music that you have. Now, you go to cumbia. And you drag that specific folder over. That's going to go ahead and set this up. You see the yellow bar. Wait until it disappears. You go here. And we have all the music that we need. Okay. Now here we have 16 songs. I'll also show you how to analyze everything in a quick second. Now. Let's say you add some more songs to it. Well, what we're going to do. Is we're going to add. An additional two songs to that specific folder. So we're going to go to DJ. Let's say we downloaded music into this one. We're going to go ahead and just add random music, okay? Let's just say we'll add this Tupac one and this Banda Machos. Now, as you can see, we have 16 songs here. This is set up, but the songs that we added aren't added here. So they would normally probably be around 18. We're going to go to Cumbia, and you have to make sure that you move away from it first. Then go back to it, and you're going to grab it and put it in the exact same folder. See, it added the two songs that we added to it. Now, as you can see, one thing is these songs don't have their time on it. Now, this is a very important thing to notice because you want to know how to analyze your music. Now, you can click the analyze files, but it'll go through everything you have. And in my case, if you click it, you'll see that it's over 10,000 and a half songs. But we don't want to do that. So let's stop that. You also have options right here where it says analyze settings next to the analyze files, where you can set the key, set the beat grid, and you also have different BPM range settings from none all the way down to 195. 
I like to stay between 68 and 135, but that's just my preference. You can analyze the entire library, or like I said, you can just do specific songs. So if you hold down shift in the song that you currently have highlighted, and you shift again, you click down, you click two. Now what we do here, and this is only possible when you're not connected to your controller or mixer, or any Servato enabled device, like the uh, boxes also, okay? You grab these two, you drag them over to analyze files, and you'll see it says two of two. This is how you do it individually. What it does is it sets you up for your beat grid and everything that you need to use. Let's say you're using the S9 or a controller that has the pads or any other device as well. So now they're set. And as you can see, the times, well, now they're there. And now you can quantize if you want and use any other uh, setup. Well, that's it as far as setting up your crates for today. I'm going to get back into it as far as how to do your setup and use certain expansion packs like Serato Video. So, thanks for checking out this video. If it was helpful and you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, like it, and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss an update. Also, go to djclasses.com now to sign up for our email list and get five free DJ tips sent to your email now. Take it easy, guys.